I paid $500 for Devon AI, the AI software engineer, and I had it working in a real repository. But was it worth it? So here you can see an actual pull request it made on GitHub. This was for a task to generate some tests in this repository that previously had essentially no testing at all. And ultimately this did sort of work. So you can see here's the process Devin went through where it sort of wrote some tests, tried them, realized they didn't work and sort of did a bit of a guess and check thing. But ultimately it was sort of able to get tests to work, but let's look a little bit deeper. Here's an example of one of those very small changes it made where essentially it just sort of changes a few numbers and some of the comment and it tries again. And then it did this a bunch of times. And when you see something like this, it doesn't give you a lot of confidence that Devin actually knows what it's doing. It's guess and check programming. But if eventually it gets the test to pass, then that should be a good thing, right? I think. Well, not exactly, because at some point Devin did this. And again, I know it's hard to see, but what is this code? This is not testing code. What this code is, is it's changing the logic of the actual thing it was trying to test because it could not get the test to pass. So its decision was, let's just go change the actual logic to fit the test they just wrote instead of fixing the test to fit the logic that already exists. That's not a good way to write code. If you are instructed to write tests, you should be writing tests. You should not be changing the business logic to fit the tests you wrote to make your tests pass. And as a code reviewer, if I saw this, I would automatically reject it simply because this is not what the PR told me it's going to be doing. And if we need to change this logic, it should be in a separate pull request. It should not be sort of bundled in with a pull request to add tests to the repository. But this actually got a lot worse than that. This is another request I asked it to do where essentially I wanted it to add high scores to this game that we had. And it was to its credit able to actually do that. But when it went to actually test it, it ran into the same issue where it couldn't get the test to pass. And it got in this sort of infinite loop of just making some changes, seeing if they worked, reverting the changes to something else and just guess and check programming over and over and over again until it could get the test to pass. And I know this one is super hard to see, but that's sort of the point. Each one of these lines here is it trying again where it just tried a different thing over and over and over again until the tests actually passed. And this gives me absolutely no confidence that it knows what it's doing because again, it's just guessing checking until the tests magically pass, but it's not really doing it in a way where it understands the logic it's writing, which is a very dangerous thing to be doing as a software engineer. So is Devin impressive? Yeah, sure. It's able to do some things that I think are very impressive. And if you had showed me this like two, three years ago before we had chat GPT, I would have been absolutely amazed. But at this point, is it actually actually useful as a software engineer? I don't think so. It might be able to do some specified things very well, but generally speaking, I think you need to handhold it too much. And I would actually spend more time trying to understand the code it wrote, trying to correct the mistakes it makes than I would just doing it all myself. So I might revisit it at some point, but for now, I don't think it's worth $500, at least not to me.